Hello everyone. So this is a video which to um, basically, uh, in a way, introduce how to um, do traditional Chinese uh, painting. So what we need first, okay, is that basically we need water, some clean water, okay, and then some plates or pallets that you have, uh, which we're gonna be filling up with ink. Um, you can fill that with ink or even just add water to this and mix it until the ink uh, starts to become paste-like and that's uh, good to go to use, okay? Um, so what we're going to be, uh, depending on what you're going to be painting, you're go going to prepare you know, the colors. So there's just another plate just to prepare. Um, brushes, obviously, so thick, um, some you could say a little bit, uh, this is probably two medium sized one and two small one, or one small one I mean. So depending on what you want to uh, paint and the size of your painting, okay. So my painting that I'm going to be doing is quite small, so medium to small brushes are usually quite good, okay. So um, how to prepare uh, our brushes first, okay. So basically what we need to do um, oh, also, before I go on, we also need a napkin for us to put like uh, any excess uh, ink or, or water. So we'll use this to actually absorb or even test our brush. Okay. So these are the things that you need: uh, brushes, clean water, some palettes for your paints and inks, um, paper, um, as you can see here, paper and a. Uh, if possible, something to hold your paper with, okay, uh, what we call paperweight. So that's the things that's uh, basically required for either Chinese calligraphy or Chinese uh, painting. Okay, so how to prepare brushes. So firstly, we'll use water. So if your brush is not um, yet uh, moist, uh, it's usually very hard to um, use it. So the reason why I put it in water first is to try, try to soften the brush, okay? If you're doing Chinese painting, then this is pretty much uh, what we need to do initially. However, if you're doing calligraphy, the, the brush, if it's dry, just go straight for the ink. So you can pour the ink and go straight to the ink and try to mix it through there. And make sure the ink goes all the way to the belly of the brush, okay? So inside here. But at the moment, since we're doing uh, Chinese painting, we'll use water instead. So we'll sort of uh, mix it like so. So if you can see that the brush itself, it's very soft, okay? So that's what we're trying to do, is try to soften the brush first. As you can see, when you lift it up, okay, it should form something like this, so it's very wet, okay? So what we need to do is scrape it off, okay? Now, as we're scraping this, we'll also try to mold our brush to the shape that we want, okay? And at the same time, when you're doing this, you're also trying to get the excess water in your brush out, okay? So the more you do it, the more it can get drier and drier, okay? So a good sort of um, sort of uh, painter, uh, calligrapher, they know how much ink is in the brush the moment they start scraping it and see how much is left, okay? So there is still quite a bit of uh, water in this. So this is pretty much how we're gonna prepare, okay? So if I use this napkin, okay? And then here, this you can still see that it bleeds, okay? The water sort of uh, gets absorbed through the paper, okay? So here as I get, um, as I keep wiping and keep wiping it, and you can see that it starts to thin out. And this is pretty much a very good start to prepare your brush. So every brush that you are going to use, see if you can do this, okay? So that's generally it. So here I want to prepare the ink, okay? Now you, if you have fresh ink, you can just pour straight onto this plate. If not, you can actually add water to this. So if I just add water, and mix it okay so this is some someone already used this plate um, of ink and it's been dried up so all I did was just add water scrape it a bit off and then start turning 
uh, mixing it, okay, making it a bit pasty. So if I just bring this closer, and how do I know if it starts to feel right? Is that you should start to see the bottom of the plate. So the the ink and the water is mixing. Okay, so it's trying to make it become alive again. Okay, not too dry. So we're trying to mix it and mix it. Okay. Now you can feel whether if if you're mixing it good that you the plate starts to feel smooth as as you're mixing it down the bottom. Okay. So you scrape it like this to see if there's any excess. Okay. So there's a bit of water and if you look at the thickness of the water okay or the fluid or the mixture if the more thicker it is the more uh, you could say um, it doesn't bleed as much the moment you use it on paper okay so this is pretty good at the moment so I, I could also feel some rough sort of um, bumps at the bottom of the, of the plate so that's what we want to get rid of as well so we want to mix it well so you could see later on it's going to be very dark okay we won't see too much of the um, too much lightness of the black okay we should be able to get a full black of it and you can see the as I'm getting the excess ink out you can see that it's starting to slow down quite a bit so you can feel that the thickness of the um, of the liquid, of the paste, so we'll mix with the ink. Okay. Now, I don't know if you could sort of see my brush. You can see there's a bit of hair sticking out. Anything like this, we'll usually just pull it out. Okay. So this is preparing our brush to uh, do something. So here, uh, obviously, to make the brush quite um, pointy, we just have to use the edge of the plate. Okay, and try to reshape it, and it should look quite pointy. Okay, and now if I was to write something on this paper, can you see it doesn't bleed? Not like water before. Okay, if there's a bit of water in the in the brush, you can see that it bleeds quite easily. So here. It didn't bleed too much, so we mixed it very well. Okay, so I could keep mixing it, keep mixing it. So pretty much this is how you could sort of say start your brush into doing calligraphy now. And this is pretty much uh, the way to prepare your brush. Okay, so if depending on what you want to do, if you're doing something mostly with black, then this is how you prepare like a plate of dry black ink. If not, you can just use one of these, okay, and just pour it straight onto it without mixing and that saves you plenty of time, okay. For me, I just want to save a bit of ink, okay, just trying to use up what I still have and then off I go, I could use this straight away now. So pretty much this is how you, yeah, prepare your, um, uh, brushes before we start painting.